Hi, this is Caroline from The Happy Sensitive. I wanted to sh share something with you about love trumps hate. I got this hate email today and it's been a, quite a long time since I got something like that. It was really nasty. It was um, throwing all kinds of dirt and half of it, I wasn't even sure. I was like, this is about me. Like, where is this coming from? And what I always do with hate messages is, or any kind of criticism that just is intense, I go through it point by point and I check with like what resonates with me is in terms of what is hurtful and why is it hurtful? Is it hurtful because it's true? Do I need to look into this? Do I need to like reflect on how I do things? Or is it hurtful because it is um, like triggering a wound that I have, an insecurity that I have, and then I work on that? Right. So I do actually, um, unless, some, you know, some things I skip, but usually when I get some kind of intense criticism or something or hate mail, I do actually look at like, what are the things that are triggering me and, and what is that about? So with this message, I did that and there was like some small thing. I was like, oh, that's something I need to kind of check in with, with myself as kind of triggering something. But apart from that, I was like, okay, you know, I don't know what to do with this filed it away. But what was interesting about the email is that there was an email address and a name listed. And usually if people send you really awful messages, you know, the few times this happened to me, they, it's either somebody that uh, knows me indirectly. And so they're letting me know who they are because they're trying to exert influence somehow. Or it's if it's a random person on the internet, they're not going to leave a name or a message or like an email address because they don't want to have a conversation and they don't want to uh, let me know who they are. So this was strange because it listed an email address and the person's full name. And, you know, I was like, this is, this is odd. And later the same day, I got an email from, you know, this person from this email address saying, Hey, um, I, you know, cause when somebody sends me a message through my contact page, through my website, I get the message and they get a copy of the message to their email if they've included an email, right? It's just handy because if for whatever reason I forget to respond or lose track of the message or something, they always have a copy of what they sent me and they can always just reply back to that and be like, hey, Caroline, I didn't hear back from you on this. So she got this message with the hateful, uh, with, with the, the whole hate mail in there. And, and so she replied to that to me saying, I'm so sorry that you got this and it's not me. I have some anonymous cyber stalker who has been targeting me and you at the same time, um, wishing you happy holidays and a good 2022 and all of that. And why I'm sharing this is not to be like, oh, boohoo, this, this happened to me or something like, you know, if you're online, sometimes this is going to happen. But what I, why I wanted to share with this, this is because the, the hatred in that message the initial hatred before I knew that it was basically fake, right? It was intense. It was an intense, nasty, hateful, spiteful um, message. The kind where you wonder like, why would anybody send this? Um, and I know that a lot of people listening to this, like you don't, you're not online as a, like a visible person per se. You're not gonna get people hating on you randomly, but you're gonna be in conversations with people or sometimes people just act really, with a lot of hatred, or you might see things happening around, happening around you where people respond with a lot of hatred. You might see things just in the world right now. There's a lot of hatred. There's a lot of division. There's a lot of polarization. There's a lot of people hating on other people. And it can make you feel hopeless when you see that, right? Because it's just so, it seems so powerful. But what I want to share with you is, and of course, this is just one instance, but this hatred that was directed at me falsely, but I didn't know that initially, right? This hatred that was directed at me was even though it was nasty compared to what happened after that the person whose account was abused to send me that message right it wasn't sent through her email account but somebody just knew her address somebody knew her email address put that in pretended it came from her and so that's how that happened um the fact that she took the time to reach out and explain what happened and was wishing me well the love and the care that Kate, that, that, that embodied, I can tell you that was so much more strong. That was so much stronger and so much more impactful and had such, such a kind of, um, reverberance, I guess you could say compared to that hatred where I know the hatred seems really powerful, powerful and intense. And you're like, wow, you know, that hatred is really gonna, but ultimately that loving response was so much bigger 
was so much, and it was just a few lines, right? But it impacted me so much more. It had so much more impact. I'm kidding, I'm saying the thing, same thing over and over. Um, but I wanted to record this today as this is fresh because I think this is so important to realize. There's so many instances where you think, oh, someone is creating the vision and they're they're adding to the hatred and they're making things worse and they're just being so mean and nasty. And what can I do, right? What can I do to, to what, what can I do? Like, I can't stop them. No, you can't stop be, people from being hateful. But every kind, loving thing that you do or you make an effort to be kind, you make an effort to be loving. I can tell you it has a much bigger, stronger, long-term impact than the hatred that other people are spewing. So I just wanted to share this because I want to remind you that love does trump hate. And it is important to keep doing those little things that maybe you think it's a waste of time and it doesn't add up and there's so many horrible things going on, but I can tell you this really, really, really makes a difference. So keep doing small loving things. It really, um, it reaches people. It has an impact. It has a lot of meaning and it completely overshadows what the hateful people in this world are trying to do. All right. That was it. Thanks so much for listening. Bye-bye.